So with the information I'm about to give you, you can decide if Idaho CPS agents, Meridian police officers, and St. Luke's staff are telling the truth about what really took place with baby Cyrus. If they broke the law, and if his grandfather and I were justified in exposing them. So there are only three conditions in which the state can legally take a child from his parents. Those are one, they must have evidence of excessive abuse, or two, evidence of extreme neglect, or three, the child is in imminent danger of death or physical harm. So there's no question, this is the baby when they took him, when Radiant Police took him. Now, let's watch him here, let's watch this. So he's in his mother's arms, she's terrified, terrified that they're going to take him, and they're trying to take him. Look at him, he's content there. Uh, let's keep watching, because I, th I think it's important that we look at this, because we need to look at... Cyrus, look at him as far as his condition. Does he look like he's malnutritioned? Does he look like he's been neglected? Does he look like he's been abused? Does, is he in imminent danger? He's certainly, certainly not any of those three. I mean, the police seem to be posing a danger here, but but look at him. He's attentive. He's He doesn't know what's going on. The cute little us look at him his mother's terrified but he's just with his mother here he is is this a baby that looks like he's been abused as you could tell at this point there is no evidence of abuse there's no evidence of neglect and he is not in imminent danger of death or physical harm in any way uh, now by the way just so you know eminent is an adjective and means likely to occur at any moment so it's important to know because uh, that's what they used to take baby Cyrus they said he was in imminent danger and this is right before they take him and you can see here he's not in imminent danger at all so uh, again ask the question is does it look like baby Cyrus is about to die or be harmed by his parents at any moment? Uh, does it look like he's been abused? Does it look like he's been neglected? So remember, again, there are three conditions which the state can legally take a child from his parents. One, evidence of excessive abuse two evidence of extreme neglect three the child is in imminent danger of death or physical harm okay now if you look here here is a video of baby cyrus with his parents in reviewing the cps and police reports there is no evidence of abuse to baby Cyrus, absolutely none. There is no evidence of neglect for baby Cyrus, none. There is also no evidence that baby Cyrus was ever in imminent danger of death or harm while in his parents' care. You can see this is a loved and cared for baby, a very loved baby. Look how clean he is. Look how his parents adore him. When Cyrus was around nine months old, he developed what was later diagnosed as cynical vomiting syndrome, CVS. Whenever he would eat anything but his mother's breast milk, he threw it up. Cyrus's parents took him to a St. Luke's doctor for help. However, Dr. Natasha Erickson Yes, noting that baby Cyrus was slightly below the age-appropriate BMI, which stands for Body Mass Index. Dr. Erickson did not consider the parent's small genetics or the fact that Cyrus had just had a vomiting episode prior to the doctor visit. Also, for some very odd reason, Dr. Erickson wrote in her medical notes, 
Patient's family is connected to Ammon Bundy, who is running for governor. Uh, late in the evening, Meridian police officers surrounded the Anderson family's vehicle at a gas station and took baby Cyrus from his parents. Evidence shows that Meridian police officer lied to Cyrus's mother and told her that she could stay with the baby. Can I ride with him, please? Yes, you can. Okay. We'll get an ambulance here to transport you. Evidence also shows that Marissa, Cyrus's mother, informed Detective Hansen that Cyrus only took breast milk and that Cyrus needed to be with her to nourish him. And you, would you also understand is he only, he has difficulty with proteins, he only takes breast milk. Okay. He needs me. He really needs me, okay? I really need your help. Evidence also shows that Detective Hansen took Cyrus away anyway arresting Marissa for obstruction of justice, and she was booked into Ada County Jail. After taking baby Cyrus, CPS agents and Meridian police officers transferred him to St. Luke's Hospital, away from his mother's nutrition and care. Further evidence shows that CPS agents and Meridian police officers did not take Cyrus to the hospital because he was in need of medical care. They took him to the hospital to transfer him to foster parents. The hospital was the place they were going to quickly transfer Cyrus to new parents. Here is the report showing that they planned on quickly transferring baby Cyrus to foster parents at the hospital. Here's a video of a St. Luke's doctor admitting that they are going to transfer baby Cyrus to foster parents. Here's the thing. So. I need to have some more degrees of separation to protect this poor foster mom that's going to take this kid, everything else. I know. So what I want to do is admit this baby to Boise. Not because it's medically necessary. The Here is a medical record that reads, just go. This is a healthy baby with no interventions. Here is a further report about baby Cyrus stating, no acute life threats noted. So, so he's, I, but how acutely? Oh no, he's but, totally stable. So. In other words, the baby is not in imminent danger of death or harm. Here's a video of the CPS agents and St. Luke's administrators and a Meridian police officer making plans to sneak baby Cyrus to another hospital because protesters were outside. First, before the night is over, what I'd rather do is see if we can find another entrance okay. out to the, to the... If we can sneak him out, definitely. I'm a chief of staff for one of the hospitals. We just are going to break some protocols and take an ambulance to a different entrance because it's a medically stable patient, and we're going to do it quietly. How, how? Baby Cyrus was in the care of St. Luke's staff for several days without his mother breastfeeding him. Here's a video of Baby Cyrus in St. Luke's care. Evidence shows that St. Luke's staff attempted to put multiple IVs in Cyrus, leaving him with several bruises in several parts of his body. They also forced a nasal food feeding tube down his throat. This was done so baby Cyrus would keep down the supplements the hospital staff were giving him. But evidence shows that all their efforts to nourish him failed. Evidence also shows that Cyrus's mother was pleading with CPS agents and St. Luke's staff to get into the hospital to nourish and care for her baby. Here's a report showing that baby Cyrus was neglected by St. Luke's staff. This is a medical note reporting that baby Cyrus was laying in his vomit. Here is a picture of Cyrus at St. Luke's hospital with his face burnt from being left in his vomit for too long. This would have never happened in his mother's care. Here are more videos and pictures of Cyrus with his parents. I myself am a witness of the love and the care that baby Cyrus received from his mother and father. They were excellent, exceptional young parents. To this day, there is no evidence of Cyrus's parents abusing him Cyrus's parents neglecting him, Cyrus being in imminent danger of death or physical harm in his parents' care. None. That when Meridian police officers took Cyrus into the care of CPS and St. Luke's staff, 
They met the conditions of child abuse in Idaho. He was taken away from his nursing mother, the only source of nutrition that he could keep down. This put Cyrus in imminent danger of death after several days. He was left in his own vomit and was not cared for and cleaned properly, causing burns on his face. This is evidence of serious neglect by St. Luke's hospital staff. He was forcefully kept away from his family and loved ones for several days while in apprehensive conditions, causing baby Cyrus to have serious separation anxiety that was not present prior to the abduction. According to the evidence, who abused baby Cyrus? Who neglected baby Cyrus? And who put baby Cyrus in imminent danger of death? His parents? or CPS agents, St. Luke's staff, and Meridian police officers. Here is supporting evidence that CPS agents, the St. Luke's doctors, and Meridian police officers were wrong in taking baby Cyrus from his parents. One, after the first court hearing, CPS ruled that they were going to keep baby Cyrus for at least another month until the next hearing. Yet, six days later, after thousands of people became aware of the situation, CPS gave baby Cyrus back to his parents. So if CPS agents truly believed that baby Cyrus was in danger of death or physical harm while in his parents' care, or that his parents abused him, or that his parents neglected him, then why would they give the baby back so soon? Two, a few weeks after baby Cyrus was taken, the state prosecutors dropped all the arrest charges against Cyrus's mother. Three, just weeks after the arrest charges were dropped, the court dismissed the entire CPS case against Cyrus's parents. Here is some conclusive evidence on this case. Shortly after the Anderson family got baby Cyrus back from Idaho CPS agents and were freed from all charges and accusations, they moved to Florida. Cyrus's parents continued to take care of baby Cyrus. They have made all the medical decisions for baby Cyrus since moving. St. Luke's doctors, CPS agents, or Meridian police officers have not been able to interfere, force, threaten, or coerce Cyrus's parents into making any medical decision. And baby Cyrus is alive and well. He is not sickly. He is thriving and happy under his parents' care and control. Are you ready for the elevator to start going? Whoa. I think we're going to. Go, go. He has nearly grown out of his cyclic vomiting syndrome and is a happy and active little boy. With the information that I've just given you, you can decide if Idaho CPS agents, Meridian police officers, and St. Luke's staff are telling the truth about what really took place with baby Cyrus, if they broke the law, and if his grandfather and I were justified in exposing them. Thank you.